saw CT side, the entire team gets flashed out. One win, don't push out on it. They don't capitalize on it and then saw win the round. But there were a lot of really good plays where we see the flash come out. There's some really good follow up and then it's immediately, you know, a team is shut down. So over and above the economic impact, which granted was fair, uh, it also has an impact on whether or not you can win rounds. It, you know, just comes back to the point you were saying a little bit earlier. If you have util, use it. But we're going to be going into overpass and one winner going to be signed out on the C side. Saw over towards the uh, CT side. Let's start it off. Going to be a nice little decoy. Going to be seeing a nice split. A little bit of a decoy here from these players. Over towards long. Saturday is going to be peeking them out. Dares take a shot, but he's going to be backing off. He does want to take on all these players. Four players rushing long at the moment. They're going to be coming through toilets. Steam train, but... They're going to be leaving one player off. Roman hits the headshot. That is going to be the bomb dropped. Meet head, head, head on with another player in towards Tordis. Arky's going to be able to pick up one, but the trade's going to be coming through. Roman cannot fall here. He does, though. Foster's going to make quick work of him, but unfortunately for him, Sadado's there. Gets the answer. Travis. Now 1v3. This man was fairly, uh, fairly on point last game as well. I don't think we spoke about him too much, but he was actually a really good player. Managed to get some important kills, but now... This is a big ask for him to try and pull out this and get some kills. He does do a nice swing out, but unfortunately doesn't get the kill he needs. Allows just to peek out, gets the headshot. Fantastic round from the side of Saw. And it's yeah, a really teammate. Hey, we love to see it. I'm pretty sure they got a teammate on this map yesterday as well. So there you go. We keep doing that. Um, nice to see the, the pincer maneuver as well. Here it is. Uh, they do so well of this. They push down through that mid and they start pincering in around the toilet. And even, you know, once this has started to wind down a little bit you've still got the dodo quite close up towards the a site for that extra little bit of crossfire set in and it's nice because as we said pistol rounds can be a little coin flippy so nice to put yourself in a position to take advantage exactly you want to be doing everything you can on that ct side with only having two players die really limits the amount of money that one win managed to get with no bomb going down these mm -hmm. deagles this scout i'm a little bit scared i'm not gonna lie uh for the slide of saw <laughs> seems to be uh Achilles Hill when it comes to the these obviously these eco rounds we did see them do a lot better I guess was the end of their CD half on nuke but still want to see the results come through to be honest very slow push here from one one if you can even call it a push at this point trying to get maybe an early pick off to move off of get some early information because they they have like no util to play with so they have to be very cautious about how they run this oh, they're gonna be trying to run down the gaunt gauntlet but unfortunately deco misses that scout shot tagged down to one hp but he's still alive and all it takes is one of those shots to go through flamey he's gonna be in a perfect position roman's gonna get completely caught off guard he's gonna get a lot of damage against him he's gonna get shot through the smoke not before he gets a kill but Again, these deagles going to be making quick work of them, but the Stadado with the M4A1 gets one. Backs off over towards Bank. He doesn't want to be left in the open. It's going to be Arky with the MP9. Picks up one. Should be a nice round here for them, but Deco, the man who was left alive, that scout makes quick work of these players. Just going to get tagged down as well. This is starting to look a little bit hairy. But now they can shut this down. The grenade goes out. Bing, bang, boom. The player oh. goes out. Man, I was timed there. That was, you know, right on time. <laughs> Yeah, the kryptonite strikes again. A little scary for Saw. A little closer than what they would have wanted. I think, yeah, they did manage to hold on to one of the rifles, at least at the end of that round. So, uh, didn't lose too much in the kerfuffle. But would have wanted that to be a lot more clean than it was. However, coming out on top of it is big. Because, of course, one win. Still down on a bit of an eco here. I'm curious to see how Flamey does with the dual burritos, though. I think I, I, I love that purely for the aesthetic. They're my favorite weapon. Uh, Roman's going to do brilliant. Managed to get two kills, but unfortunately the trade does come through. Arky's going to be in a good position, but the jump away is going to be working in the other side. Never mind, it's cut down. Arky through. The wall is going to be able to get some damage. Going to have to be careful here. He over peaks. The MP9 from Sadara comes out, gets a little bit of tag on glowing. He's probably the worst player to have that gun because he is an absolute beast with it. From the context of, obviously, the other side of Saw. And... <laughs> brilliant. Okay, he chucks it away, so that's going to be a, kind of, like, a little bit of damage here, but to be honest... I don't think they're going to mind too much. It's not going to be a massive issue, but Glowin, he can, have, he can pick up another couple of kills, but no, he is red. Unfortunately for him, they pre-ordered his book and read it ahead of time. Ha! I wonder if it wouldn't have been better to try to hold on to it, but I suppose with the way he was being hunted down, it's unlikely he would have been able to. So, yeah, fair enough. Chuck it off the map and keep it out of enemy hands.
Why not? Now, however... And of course, I suppose he probably knew he'd be able to buy up in this round in any event, so... But it would have been nice to have held on to a bit of eco if possible, because if they lose this round, yes, they're on that mass loss streak. Mass? Max? Last streak bonus. Uh, but it's still not ideal, given that they've bought down so low. Yeah. I, I, I did actually expect Sado to buy the AWP here. It does mean that they're a little, little, bit, little bit more limited on cash going forward, but that's just the risk and gamble you have to take the orb and you know what this is a good round to have that one win they've got a healthy buy up on their side good amount of utility good opportunities here to do a lot of damage inside of one uh, so it's the saw rather they I, honestly now is where they have to shine they have to come back through no more rounds inside of saw they cannot have a, a repeat of seven rounds on the board for side of saw this buffer cannot get too big Oh, one would have already used a ton of their util into the start of this round, so very quickly going to have to make a decision. You can check bombs still chilling towards their spawn, so haven't really committed to a decision just yet. Not quite yet. Just is going to be sitting on the other side of the smoke in the monster. Just hear some utility being used. Flamey's going to be here. He's peeking around the corner. He's going to get killed by the play. Who will splash? Glowing can't pick up the second one. Unfortunately, the trade was fantastic. On the side of Saw, Travis tries to get one from behind, but he couldn't quite do it. Just going to get taken down. One left live with Deco. Deco is going to be able to take down Mutra's bomb. Is going to be going down in default. This AWP could do something, but he's not wanting to give away his position. He hits the little feet. Unfortunately, that's going to be all she wrote, as Deco has an opportunity to pick up an AWP for himself. And Roman, he has an MP9, and at distance versus these AKs, this is going to be rough. He's going to have to hopefully see this player down towards his left. He's going to be going towards a close range. He hits the Ooh, headshot. This is exactly what you need. And Roman could do this, but Ooh. oh no, he jumps across and is caught off guard. Deco, he's awoken. He doesn't pick up the orb. A little bit of a ragdoll effect there. That's uh, terrifying. Well done there, Deco. Well, now you can see why he's the orb player because he sniped somebody in midair without even using an orb. So there you have it, folks. A round that saw wouldn't have wanted to win. It went very, very down to the wire. And, of course, they weren't as kitted out as one win were. But we've seen them win on worse buys. So going to be a little, little upset with that one. However, it does end one win's loss streak. So if they win this round, one win are in trouble. Yeah, they're going to have uh, a lot less cash in the bank after this round. But... If they can do more damage to the side of Saw in regards to the economy, they, they could they could be fine. They're still going to have enough mm -hmm. money in the bank for the next round uh, to buy a couple of pistols, and <laughs> we know how uh, Saw fare up against those. <laughs> Although we do talk about that a lot, so maybe maybe time to chart, calm down a little bit. But it really is the uh, the weak point on Saw's side. First kill, kill has gone against one win side. That's not exactly what you want to be seeing. Glowing a little bit too short here. Sadado has got this scout, no warp in hand, but got the nerfed. The nerfed AWP in hand. They're going to be peeking over. He spots them out. Misses the shot. That information is as damaging the side of one win. Going to give away a little bit of information as well. One win. Still looking to possibly press this though. They know there's a little bit of a uh, sniper rifle up that way. So instead they're going to push through toilets. Try and shut down the sight line. But Roman's waiting. Oh. Roman's going to be in a good position. He takes down one. Takes down two. He could find the third as well for the USP. Smoke's going to be going out. They should read this. Going for the aggressive push. They do. Buster's going to be able to get the kill. But there's only going to be two of them left alive. Mutrus is going to be on site with Stardado. The scout in hand. But the flash is going to be coming through on them as well. The scout peak is going to be coming on. It's not going to be working his favor. Mutrus is going to be peeking around the corner. He gets one. A second one as well. Never mind. Stardado picked it up. I was wrong. But still. Pretty good ending for them. Even if they did lose one player. Roman. MVP of that round. Honestly, his positioning there was massive, so instrumental, and I think, so the information probably gets given over, you know, Stododo spots out with the scout, okay, there's a couple people, well, he spots one towards long, and he thinks, okay, well, maybe there's gonna be a few more coming up through toilets, Roman is in a perfect position, the smokes cover his position as they swing around the corner, he's able to get two, which is ridiculous, before he's traded out, so instrumental in securing that round for Saw, and as I mentioned, because one win no longer have their lost streak bonus, they're back down to only 1,400 credits at the end of the round and okay there's a little bit extra for getting a couple of kills in that round and so at least they'll be able to buy a little bit into this some upgraded pistols probably but it's not ideal it's not where you want to be and so you know they, they lose one round they look a little bit wobbly in that one round but they're clearly starting to bring it back a little bit 
So really impressing me with some of their changes today and some of the formulations that they've been doing. But one win is still a scary beast. They've got every opportunity to be able to bring this back. They're going to be uh, buying down to around about the 2k mark in this round. Fairly standard with their round loss of bonus they're going to be getting from this one. Could be helpful. Grenade does go out. They get the first kill. Catches another one off. This is it. This is the anti-eco that we know saw. A terrible that. And now the bomb should be going down. And honestly, I, I think this is them going to be getting shut down. Deco gets this, another one as well. They could actually get Team Ace if they really wanted to try. Glowing and Flamey could go hunting for some kills and find Sadado and Roman. But hey. What a round coming out from one win. <laughs> that, that, that shouldn't have been like... Come on. Come on, Saul. I was just thinking you up and congratulating you on your new formulations and stuff. And they just fall so short. What's that uh, Three Doors Down song? Kryptonite? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a banger of a tune. Honestly. At least Saul get to hold on to these two guns, maybe. Flamey possibly going to push this. Maybe? No, okay. It looks like they should be able to hold on. Oh! Nice, that is some good damage actually. Yeah, nice. Get that one extra kill as well, just to be a little bit of the icing on top of a round that you know like when you when you when you don't have a great cake and then you put icing on it and then it's slightly better. That's, that's pretty much nah. what happened there. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of icing, I'm not gonna lie. Give me a cake with no icing, I'll be fine. So bread? Uh, I mean if if it's <laughs> if it's a cake then yeah, sure, fine. Cool, bread, <laughs> as long as it's tasty. Bread is, enough, bread, is, bread is God anyway. That's true, it's S tier. I don't even need much of it anymore, but hey. Good, God like anyway. Lots of interesting weapon choices here. We've got two pharmacies, MP9, AK, and MPA1. Mixed up ballad for these guns, and unfortunately, they're not going to sing for them. It's just going to be able to take down one player. The MP9 is going to be coming out swinging, though. Argy with one. Can't find the second. He's going to get taken down. Mutris reloads his famous just in time as they're going to be playing aggressive against him. Travis finds his head, though. This is not looking good. It's all on a downhill. Procession. Saw. We've got one person left alive. It's going to be Roman over towards ABC. He's looking to see if he can uh, potentially... Uh, count up the players alongside those letters, but it's going to be super difficult. Travis is going to be peeking around the corner. What are you uh, doing? Take that shot, Roman. What? Roman? Okay. <laughs> uh, so barring that, um, not a great round. So maybe not barring that, including that. Not a great round for Saw. Would have wanted to do a lot better. Oh, no. Why are we <laughs> replaying this, you trolls? Oh, cool. <laughs> Whoever from production showed that you're you're hor you're harsh. It's like showing what was we it have yesterday? No heart. It's like oh, Kezlo the, Kezlos. The flame. <laughs> yeah, Kezlos getting uh, burnt alive by that Molotov because he just decided to sit in it and do a pleasant. Oh, jeez, that is that is rough. And the worst part of that is that like Travis checks the corner, flicks away, then goes, "Hang on a second, flicks back, uh -huh. <laughs> and in that time, like Roman still hasn't shot him. Unforge, unforge." And what is just as unfortunate is uh, Saul's economic situation here. One win on track to even out the scoreline here. And what makes this so rough for Saul is that this has historically been their better half on overpass. I mean, we know that their, their T side is not particularly strong. So they needed to have a bit of a runaway here. And okay, I mean, this was one win's map pick. So we do expect them to do well on it. But Saw kind of misstepping here a little bit not taking as much of that control as we would have wanted to see allowing a lot of space for one win um and kind of crumbling under the aggression and that seems to have been one of their weaknesses whenever one win go in hyper aggressive they tend to just kind of fall apart i mean falling apart it's definitely something saw have been doing this time round and it's definitely a little bit sad, but at the same time, one win that round was absolutely beautiful for them. Can't really downplay that at all. Super happy that they've been able to get a couple of rounds on the board, especially with those first three rounds, which is so convincing on the side of uh, Saw. But turn around, pretty B for them. We'll have to wait and see if they can be able to convert it into even more as we go into the eighth round here, Sam. <sighs> What is interesting is that uh, we've had a lot of back and forth between these two teams and varying degrees of back and forth. Nuke 7 to 7 in the first half. The second half kind of goes 2 for 1 for 1 for 2 and on and on we go. 
We're back here onto Overpass and we're seeing a similar thing, but it was also on Saw's CT half on Nuke that went a lot more scrappy. That leaves me with some questions for their T side. USPs, Eagle. Do you think Arky's going to be able to do anything here? We did see him, uh, you know, absolutely slap a couple of players uh, last <laughs> game with the Deagle, so he might be able to do something, but... What's the... Uh... I, 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 you know, I question that switch over. Foster's not being on point with his sprays. And neither has Flamey, to be fair. He's only on one kill, so maybe that's why he's like, yeah, just give it to me. I'll go in for the entry, get some information. He's going to be pushing out. I don't want to give away the big gun straight away. Foster, he's trying to prove me wrong. He's going to be able to pick up one, but that's going to be all she wrote. He's going to get chased out. He still gets the Glock kill, Flamey, with one as well. As he pushes onto site, this should be the shutdown onto Saw. One wins Ethan. That's going to be a lot stronger here. This is going to be the two players looking to do a lot of damage. And Flamey was getting shot by Zadado, but managed to survive that thanks to his teammate. Flawless round for one win. So flush in the bank that at this point they probably don't even know what to do with all of the cash that they have. And so, mm, a little bit of a downhill slope here. They've lost four rounds in a row. So if they lose this one, at least they'll be on the, the mass loss, uh, max, why do I keep saying mass? Max loss streak bonus, which means that they'll be able to buy up quite handedly into the next, because of course they have very little to spend into this round. So maybe they bring it back. But for now, one win pretty firmly in control of the situation. And so, again, you know, my biggest gripe with them, the rounds where they looked so good were the rounds where they take some aggressive early map control. Now they've been yeah. playing scared. They've been playing so hesitant. Yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure what's going on because Roma would usually be halfway to well, T spawn at this point. But th there's just zero information here uh, from, from their side. They don't know anything. All this has been taken over a long connector. They have zero information. They're just going to be gambling here on the fact that they can catch this team off. But with this kind of boost and smokes that they're going to be doing, this is going to be super detrimental. This is going to cause a rotation, and then it's going to be an execution in towards the B site from the T's. That smoke, though, is going to help counter uh, this potential push. Travis is trying to cause as much attention as possible. Molotov is going to go down behind Dumpster. Foster looking to see if he can push through here. Just is a little bit shaky now, a little bit nerve-ridden, and Roman's going to get headshot through the smoke as it dissipates, and... It's going to be a site getting taken over. So now the rotation for the teams may well come in, but they're trying to decide what to do. Travis is just like, I'm just, I'm a distraction. I'm still just slaughtering you. Deco pushes on. He's going to get spotted out. He's going to get damaged heavily. It's going to be just with the kill for himself. Lamy's going to be able to take him down in a nice trade off. And uh, a site is completely gone. There's going to be one person left over. Deco takes him down though. I I'm not quite sure what happened there, but honestly, saw disappointing results. One win. Fantastic. Yeah, I mean, this is a little depressing because. The rounds where they looked so shaky yesterday had the same problem, where they play very, very defensively and they give up so much space. So we saw it on Nuke as well, where they tried to play for that kind of 5v5 retake scenario. They gave up the entire map and then they just get mowed down on the, the re-entry. Uh, okay, okay, now we're seeing a little bit more of that aggressive map control <laughs> because they're not. They're on pistols again. Well, the big banana gun is going to be able to pick up one, but Flamey picks up two kills. So, two for one against yeah, Banana Man. Two players down in towards Connector. After, well, over half the team alive right now, sitting in that position. Not quite sure if Mutrus is going to be able to recover anything. It is actually an AK that was left there. I think that's a smart decision from Flamey. He could have chucked it away, but it was a little bit dangerous. Roman's going to fall, though. Uh, that is a push down in towards Connector. Tado has only got 16 points of. Little HP left. Flamey's just going to be backing off, though. He wants nothing to do with this. I love this counter slowness from the side of one win. They're just like, yeah, I mean, you can push if you want. Uh, we're just going to we're just going to slow down. You kill one of our players, you kill two, uh, make that four. As Flamey mm. finds, wait, is this going to be an ace? He's going to find one more kill. Mutus is just like, oh boy, I cannot give this old dog this this oh, kill. No. And it may well just happen. That is an ace for Flamey. Finally putting himself <laughs> on the scoreboard. Well, it's, uh, it's one way to do it. And it was quite flashy. So, yeah, we, we'll take that. Kudos to him. All right, so what do you got in the tank? Unfortunately, you know, we finally get to see that aggression. But it was on a pistol round. So, eh, rush out, get killed, get to the next round where you can actually buy some guns. Pretty standard. So Dodo now going to be able to buy into the AWP. 
And there is a fairly aggressive oh, start no. here from Roman, though. I, I will, sorry, I'll just point out, they missed the do, they, they failed doing the boost. And if they'd boost, they would have killed Stadado. He was holding that position with the AWP, though. Uh, it was a fantastic boost from T-Spawn, but they completely failed it. So that's definitely interesting to see. I want to see that AWP come into use from both these sides. Both brilliant AWPers. Deco being a little less uh, less there in those shots today. As I mentioned at the start of this uh, pre-game uh, and post-game analysis. So that I managed to get nine kills with the AWP last round. Last game, rather. Just going to be able to pick up the first one. Flame, he's going to get dropped. No more aces for you. Now he's going to be having the counter aggression. This is exactly what I want to be seeing from this team. He can now hold this position and stop two at like a, a really big entry point in towards the site. But honestly, even more aggression from him is needed. Over towards long. Roman. You can hear this first steps. He's waiting. <laughs> he's waiting for him to go for that boost. But this player missed the self boost twice. Didn't quite hit those, uh, hit, hit those strafes. I'm not going to lie, it, it is harder than it used to be, in my opinion. It used to be a little bit easier to get that strafe, and it's now going to fail once again. But he's going to be going in for the peak. He got the information. It wasn't even going in for the proper strafe. He just wanted that info. He takes down Roman with a clear headshot. Now, Sadado with the AWP. He needs, uh, needs to be able to hit this, but unfortunately, he doesn't take the shot. Misses it. Oh, no. In, misses again. Arky takes the kill. He's going to have to back away through the fire and flames. And now, Mutus, he's going to be down to him to try and take these kills. But unfortunately, Lauren, he turns around, gets one, gets two. Looking into even more, but Deco takes down Sadado. The AWP win in his, in his favor. Justin is going to be from behind. Now they're going to rotate down. Oh, no. It's going to go straight on towards this truck. He's going to be able to do something here, but it's just not going to happen. Also just shoots him through the, through the fire. We called him out, and he's, uh, he's showing up. That was... A really messy round. The dodo, so he gets flashed off of his position. He re-peaks, and apparently it was just completely unexpected that he would re-peak that. And then he gets a kill. But while that's happening, Amali comes out while he's trying to retreat. And this was actually really smart, because they know that once he gets that kill, he's going to have to back out. So he has to back out through the Molly, and it chunks out, like, all of his HP. He doesn't quite die to it, but it, it takes away a lot of it. And at that point, through the chaos and the Ferrari swings, one win managed to shut down that defense. Lorraine is going to be peeking around the corner. Easy peasy for him. He's going to be able to pick up a kill. Takes no damage in the process. He's going to continue to push. Takes a little bit of a shot, but it doesn't matter. One, two, three. Knows how to count. Nice reload. Going to be going in. Well, the GZ is going to be good enough. Takes down the one, but he's going to get tagged down to 19 HP. Just is going to be in a good position, but honestly, I don't think they're going to be pushing towards this at all. And now Glowin is just going to be holding this position. Waiting. Hungry for any kills that could come that way. You know, I was a little disappointed in the previous round that Stadodo didn't go for that cheeky monster boost that we saw yesterday. I mean, the team, like, one win hadn't really pushed there, so he probably wouldn't have gotten too much out of it, but would have been fun to see. <laughs> oh, Justin's going to be able to catch him off guard, but again, what is going on? This team is just not reacting fast enough at all. What was that? How did they manage to fail that hard? He had a massive opportunity there to take that kill, but just spies to just look at the complete, well, just not actually shoot fast enough. And honestly, that distance onto that headshot, he should have had that. Also, just again, glowing. Absolutely fantastic entry kill into a follow-up of two. I mean, Glowing has been, like we said at the end of Nuke, just an absolute star. But as you mentioned, Foster starting to show up a little bit here, starting to do a lot better. We said that he was kind of a question mark and we wanted him to start showing up and it's clearly making a difference. When all of the team are showing up, they're just running away with rounds. Indeed, Roman's going to be playing aggressive. This is what I want to see from him. He's really putting the pressure onto this team but unfortunately he's going to be in playing a massive disadvantage glorian takes him down he had very little support to be able to try and bring this one albus that no takes down glorian that's a key player you cannot allow that and travis is going to be uh getting taken down there as well <laughs> just uh doing it in a slightly different way of saying it just to amuse uh someone at someone in chat you know uh flamey look at the going for this entrance 68 hp on deco one one point in the magic number Smoke left on this player. Stado is going to get taken down. Deco going to get some revenge here for his fallen comrade. We might see him push over towards Long. Mutris. I don't know if that position is going to be good enough for, the, for this kind of rotation. He's going to be able to swing up in towards this mid and short position if he really needs to. See where the teammates 
rotated already over towards the A site, or one's at least coming up. Flamey down below. This is where Mutrius is going to be in a little bit of trouble. Flamey with his uh, years of experience. Gonna be able to sense this player somewhere nearby. He has had one ace so far this game, but unfortunately for him, he's going to get caught off guard. Mucius takes one. It's going to be just with a second. Frost is going to be falling. Now this orb is not going to be fast enough. Talk about slow reactions. This time, it's going to be on the side of the T's. Echo just could not react fast enough. You're talking about being a seasoned player and being able to sense this player nearby. And I'm like, whoa, being a seasoned player gives you ESP? That's wild. <laughs> it would be really cool, but uh, unfortunately not. Yeah, it is just the understanding about where players are going to rotate and... If they're actually going to be heading that way. Stododo, why are you taking damage before the rounds even started? Like... Because he can. <laughs> don't judge him. <laughs> the power play. <laughs> uh, I don't need this HP, but Foster pushing through the smoke. Looking to prove himself as one of the newest additions to this lineup. Still on trial, if I'm right in saying, for one win. It's only going to be eight rounds in their favor. They've won the half. Now they want to win the game. He takes the first kill. Justin to be the perfect position to get the second kill. Going in for the follow-up. Gets in one. Goes in for the second. Couldn't. Sorry, the third. I can't even count. I didn't realize he got Decker as well. And that's going to be four, two players left. Flamey and Glowin. And then Sado and Roman left on the CT side. Honestly, I couldn't say which way that's going to go. I'd probably have to predict that one winner going to be able to pick up this round. They've just been playing fantastic. And they've got Glowin, who is just playing the aggressive position. This is exactly the kind of uh, place you want to be him to be in. He is just an absolute beast when it comes to these aggressive pushes right now. I kind of like the setup, the early setup from Saw over towards the B site. Obviously, they can't know for sure that one when are going to be pushing that way, but it does play into their hands somewhat. Trades out quite heavily, though, and curious to see if they actually opt to push into this, though. I might suspect that maybe they hold on to their weapons or at least attempt to, but looks like they might try to get a couple of exits. Maybe actually go for this, uh, for this round. Yeah, they're going to be a little bit slow to take on this front, but they do have the kit, diffuse kits and the opportunity. They're trying to close line this player, find him out, but unfortunately they're going to get caught off guard. But Stadono flicks around, gets the kill. It's going to be Flamey with low HP. He's going to be able to go for the spray. He does a lot of damage. Seven HP on Roman. But it's going to be the clutch coming in for Saw's side. Just in the nick of time. One win. Still eight rounds, but we can close it out to the night. All right, well, color me wrong. Works out really well there for Saw, and they managed to snag themselves that last round. But like, I was taking a look at one win's economy before the bomb had been defused, and wow, they got cash to blow. <laughs> I mean, they're in such a good spot right now. But we are last round in the half, so doesn't really matter too much. It's really Saw that are going to be the question mark here. Are they going to go into this 9-6, or are they going to be able to snag this last round? And at least have a bit more of a buffer into their T side. You know, they went into nuke at an 8-7 half in their favor. Not going to be able to replicate that here. But maybe, just maybe, they can make it as close as possible. Yeah, definitely a little bit worried for the side of store at the moment. T side on overpass. Definitely their weakest, uh, weakest point in that double nade. It takes just down to 1 HP. Simple flashbang that hits him would take him out at this point. He does track down a, a grenade, a little bit feeble. He's going to get, or oh, somehow he's still alive, dodges the Molotov. He's going to go for the spray through the smoke. He's not going to be able to achieve anything. He has to back down. Arky is going to be in the key position. Flash out over towards site. Might flash out his own teammate, but instead he's going to get taken down by Travis, who is now going to be sitting on site. This Molotov is going to do a lot of damage to Arky. Might even take him down. He stays alive. Push down in towards Monster, but no, it's going to be Vicious and Sadado if they kill each. Slow down for a split second. The bomb has not gone down. It's actually over the wall. water at the moment, down below heaven. They're in a difficult position. This is a good play for Saw. They can win this one back. They're going to have to play it carefully. Play it slowly. Wait for the bomb. Lance is trying to kind of change the spot. He peeks out. A little bit wide, but he's backed up by his teammate. That's going to be two kills coming out on the side of one win. They have the advantage. They also have the bomb going over towards Cyber Foster. He's going to fool Mutris. He's going to be able to get that kill. Sadari is going to be backing up. He's going up, realizing that they could go in for the aggressive peak and push against him. Now, because he wasn't found, this is going to be a little bit disconcerting for the side. 15 seconds left. It has to go in for the plant. Mutra, he's going for the swing. He's going to get taken down, but Stadado takes one. Look at it for the second one, but the bomb is going to be getting planted. Now he has to find this frag before he can get back away, but instead he's going to be jumping up and gets Ooh. taken down. Glory. He's going to fall, and that's going to be the seventh round of the board for Saw. So this time, you know, <laughs> we're the same similar sort of storyline as the, the first game, but in reverse. Yeah, pretty much. Sedota with the hero play there, getting three kills in that round. 
And again, it was another like super fun, aggressive play. I mean, you actually saw them take so much map control there, which is what I'd been wanting to see from them for so many rounds. They take that full map control, not realizing it's going to be a super aggressive A hit. But luckily, they're able to kind of stall out for time long enough for those rotations to eventually come through. The pace slows down massively. One win, you know, you mentioned it. They figured out where the AWP was. They chase it a little bit, then realize, okay, cool, there's enough space. We can quickly get that plant down. Mutras tries to help out, but gets immediately shut down. And Stadodu somehow able to, I don't know, clutch out that whole thing with an AWP. <laughs> Not something you see every day, but a really, really important play here for Saw. Unfortunately, not as big of a buffer as they would have wanted. Yeah, absolutely fantastic gameplay from one win. We're going to be right back with the second half in a moment. Don't go anywhere. So Saw with a slightly disappointing first half, given how strong their CT sides have looked historically, mostly yesterday in particular. But they've got a chance here. Yeah, they're at a one-point deficit. Let's see if they can bring it back. Their T sides haven't looked great. Well, straight into the action. Just going to be charging down over towards B. He's going to get spotted out. Takes no damage. Delivers a little bit. 12 HP done to Glowing. Up in towards the uh, connector, we have Dravis, uh, who's going to take a little bit of damage here. Managed to find one kill. Second kill going to be coming in, but it's going to be Deco. Oh, turns around, gets a second one towards Arky, and that was a slaughter. Even cleaner than uh, the fight so far. Never mind. Spoke too soon. 
They've lost one. Blamey drops a little bit too early. Roaming gonna be peeking around the corner. He's gotta do air. He's gotta, he's gotta do a massive amount of work here. If he can get one kill, that'd be fantastic. Not gonna happen. Deco for the 3k. So can we put in requests for for accents? Uh, we can certainly try. <laughs> Cause uh, you know I'm feeling the cowboy, and then possibly like a like an Irish or a Scottish. You know, if you could like fit those in at some point, that'd be great. Uh, um, I just have to have to try and think of how it actually worked, Travis, into being like a Scottish. <laughs> Scottish accent. You got this, I believe. Yeah. It's fun tilting, you. <laughs> oh, brilliant, yeah, and tilting chat in general. Yeah. Gotta love chat. Always supportive. <laughs> love hate relationship with chat. <laughs> yeah. Well, Sam, we all want a pistol around here, and this time we've actually got no decals or anything because they didn't get the bomb down. It's a bit unfortunate. No real cash in the bank, so Dodo's already taken a ton of damage. One win, have two M4s on top of the, the what else they have. What's that? FAMAS and a... Two FAMAS, two M4s, and uh, yeah. M MP9. So it's going to be Deco. Misses his shot, so this could cost him. Never mind, I suppose too soon. Nice 3k, and it's going to be the other two getting found by uh, Mr. Travis here. Good to get those <laughs> kills, yes. and uh, that is going to be a nice spray down. He was flash, but it doesn't really achieve anything. Nice. I like that. Yeah, I mean, this was more or less to be expected. It's a little bit of a mow down. Maybe not necessarily that much of a mow down. Uh, but yeah, pistol rounds into actual weapons. Would have been nice if they maybe could have gotten one or two kills out of that. But at least now they're able to buy in. We'll see if they can make something happen with this. It has been fairly one dimensional in the first couple of rounds, but again, it's because they had pistols. So now I want to see how they start to approach these rounds. Seeing a little bit of aggression here from Just. The position he had previously, unfortunately, going to be countered completely by Travis. Not really going to be able to achieve much within that. Bit of a disappointing start from that player. Yesterday we saw him shine bright like a diamond, but unfortunately the person who's going to be shining today is glowing. Quite, quite appropriate with that name, not going to lie. Over Hi. towards Long, we have got Deco again in this position. He sprayed down three of them last time, but he's not going to be given the chance this time. Roman takes the kill. Deco falls. Deco now to support his teammate Travis over towards the A site. Oh, Arky. Got to be one of the key players here. Not really awoken so far in this game. Unfortunately, uh, it's going to be super hard for them pushing over towards the uh, the A site. I think this is going to be a nice tight hold. Limited utility, actually. There's only one flash on the side of Glowin, and they're going to be going through toilets, but Travis is going to be going right next to them. They're like ships in the night, but he doesn't look. And Roman is going to be able to get that kill. This is huge. This opens the potential for them to convert this back over towards a win for them. They have to do well in this, but Flamey gets the kill. That flash catches them off guard. On site. Gets a lot of damage, but unfortunately not the kill. Better be put him more than Flamey has going for the spray. He gets one, but can get the second one. Roaming going to be pushed onto site. He's going to be left in a 1v1. Foster going to be able to try and do this for his team. The trial player going to be able to know that the, the bomb is going to get planted, but the information now is now there. He can just play aggressive. He knows oh no. he can push this. He's going to be peeking around the corner. And oh no, what are you doing, Roman? He falls. Oh, that's heartbreaking. I mean, you got to bear in mind the clock continues to tick away and... Sure, you're under a little bit of pressure there, but what are the chances that he's not going to swing on you? What are the chances he's going to expect it to be another fake? And unfortunately, those odds, those chances just do not go in Saw's favor. Back down onto an eco. Are investing into the scout here, so a little bit of cash spent on that. It is in the hands of Arky, which is definitely interesting to note. Usually it's the Dodo who picks up that sniper rifle, but they're looking to see if maybe Stadoto can get a little bit more aggressive while Aki holds further back and takes a ton of damage. Oh, Deco's going to be pushing. He's going to be able to get one, two. Couldn't get the third, though, as the Tech 9 is proving a little bit too strong in those angles, and Travis will be uh, stopping them from pushing any further. Only one person has been taken down, but that M4 could be the difference here for them. So struggling once again on this map. We're only a couple of rounds here into this, but honestly, that last round should have been a win for the side of Saw, but unfortunately, they just lost the grasp with it. Smoke goes out. Travis is just going to be holding fast versus this scout. Gets the kill. Very easy for him with that. Going to have to reload. This reload could cost him. Yes, he does back off, but he allows the push to come through. One kill comes in, but Just is going to get slain. 
Glorious Dado, and that's going to be another round on the board. This is why Saw needed more rounds on their CT side. Because one win, inching ever closer. We're three rounds away from them being on match point. We're still gonna have to mount something huge here. Now with that previous round being a save, or a bit of an eco, maybe they'll still be able to buy into this. Invest a little something something, try to turn things back. Yeah, there you go, Stadoto with the AWP in his hands. Let's see yep. what... I'm actually looking for some aggressive pushing through playground. Oh, we might end up seeing overtime in this game, but Travis is going to be able to pick up one, two, and Glorid with another. Really well played by them. Arky turns around at the wrong time, and Stadon may well have that all, but he also has the bomb and also the whole round in his hands. This should be 13 round, 13th round on the board for one win over super fast. The counter aggression coming out from the side of one win. You can see those kills on the, on the radar on the top left. Two over towards party, one in connector, one over towards. Uh, B. Travis is going to catch Saturday off guard completely. I'd love to see cut some kind of knife kill, but honestly, it's not even worth, <laughs> worth the risk. So they go in into this next round completely clean, building up an economy. This is heartbreaking for Saw. I mean, we knew that Overpass was one of their worst maps statistically, but we also, you know, we spoke to Roman and, they, and they've been working so hard at trying to get better at it. We knew that the T side was going to be rough for them. Kind of hoping that they'd be able to build up those rounds on CT, and now, unfortunately, they are a, they're on a slippery slope. Back down onto another Eco 2 Tech 9s <laughs> to try to complement it. And, I mean, they've gotten some results out of those in the past, but I'm just not sure that they're actually going to be able to make something happen here. They are, again, changing up their approach, but not really changing up their pace. They keep things really slow, and one would have been so good at responding. Oh, Mutrus is going to be able to get a kill. So is Roman, but Roman's going to get taken down by Flamey, who was completely flashed. But he's going to be looking in for another kill versus uh, this pistol player. And he's going to be able to pick up one. Travis for the second. Arky does fall, but Mutrus still alive at the moment. He's got one kill with that Deagle. One V2. That flash is going to be so annoying for him, but he can still play against this. What's other player goes to the shot? It's going to be a leg shot. Follows it up with another shot. He has to be very careful. It's going to be two players there. Good lines. Oh, you can see him being very careful, but unfortunately... Flamey was just in a really good position to go in for that, that that spam with Travis. I mean, at least they get a few kills out of the round. But at this point, it's not making that much of a difference. I mean, you can actually see One Win's economy has suffered a little bit from losing a few players every round. But not so much that they're not able to come into this with a perfect buy, all things considered. Uh, so Saw, so now that they're back into it... Again, going to try and change up their approach a little bit. But what do they do about pacing? That, that'll that do. Yeah, Deco's going to be losing his life. First kill of the round. It's going to be on Stardado, but they're seven rounds behind. They have to be doing a lot better than they have done in previous rounds. They've started it off nicely. But one win. they playing out of their mind right now. Trying to shut this down. They have to take it to the third map. It'll be on Dust 2 where they have a big potential to win this one. Oh, Mutris wins that duel. Swings out. Doesn't go too far. Pretty much on point with Glowin, and I think that's why he ended up being able to win that duel. Was able to steady his gun. Get that shot on the head. Just going to be turned around. He gets one. That was a decent trade off. You know what? I take that any day. They've really lost one person so far. Now they're in a four versus two, but they've lost this before. And Travis and Foster. Both of these players. This game have been playing fantastically. Last game, a little bit lacking on the side of Foster. I do want to see Travis through short potentially find a kill here execution may well see what they can do carries on pushing through he might be able to swap this head he does he takes it down he's going to be taking it out too oh he gets a shot with the smoke as well it's going to be the equalizer but it's going to be foster fall a little bit too fast arky gets the kill they know exactly where this player is and they have 20 seconds they can make their way all the way down over towards b now they have no idea where this player is going to be, though. Travis, he's going no. to travel all the way down. He's like, yeah, this is easy. Oh, it's oh, a grenade. Sweet. He's denied it's it. Sweet. That's the win. Oh, it, this is. He's going to be able to peek out and look to try to get the kill. How is that a survival? Five oh, HP yes. left on Arky in the shot from Santado. That was so close. But Travis, 200 IQ play. That nade was just so close. The read on that, though, for him to realize that they're likely not going to try their luck on A and instead push over onto B, and then for him to 
start that rotation and like you said toss out that nade hoping it's going to be for a plant where the nade's going to hit and okay maybe a little under pressure maybe it just doesn't quite connect with the lineup that he would have wanted and unfortunately not able to deny that plant and then not able to get those final kills either so dodo again being a hero and it was a round that saw sorely needed to keep themselves alive here but one win still very much in this Sure. And Deco's been a little bit more effective with the, with the AWP. I'm excited to be able to see how many kills he's actually managed to get with it. I don't think he's been as Becker's uh, effective this game as Stadado, but it's definitely uh, up there compared to last game. And just through the smoke, hello. Oh. Are you, are you, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, completely understandable. Managed to get a catch that gun, player off guard. Didn't see that one coming at all. And now it's Arky down in Ward's connector, but this is Travis's ground. You don't mess with that at all over towards mid and toilets deco he's potentially going to be getting in a lot of trouble now he has the awp flash could be coming through he takes the shot a little bit too early is he going to be able to hit anything travis he's going to get found as well mutuals is going to be on point deco has to fall back realizing he can't hold this by himself playing a little bit too aggressive mutuals even with that galil can one shot deco if he's close enough he has no head armor at all now they've decided okay well we may have made some decent ground over towards a but Deco is a scary beast. We don't want to go near him. And so they're actually going to be rotating back over the walls to be sites. One through connector. Three down through monster. And at the moment, they'd have a clean execution in, in here if they really want to go for it. But they're playing a little bit slow. A little bit steady at the moment. They can hear the utility being used up above them. So this should fill them with confidence. As we're going to be seeing a slight rotation coming in. And then this should be a clean take for them. Bowers is cleared. Bomb is going to be going down. It'll be a short play here. These guys and monster. Mucius is now going to be the key holder here. If these two other players fall, he's got a decent hold on that bomb. Completely open to where he wants it. A three versus four. Do you go and take this? I, I don't think so. It's going to be a limited amount of time left. And it's already halfway down on the clock at the moment. The calls we made, it's 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 a save. Yeah, I mean, this makes a lot of sense. Just hold on. I mean, look at their economy. <laughs> mm. economy? Trying to push th exactly, <laughs> trying to push this <laughs> definitely would not be in their best interest. So, so do a really good job here. And uh, there's another round that I I like how they play it. Okay, the fact that just starts things off with a kill through the smoke is a little ridiculous, but it it opens up the space for them and and they only needed to get that second kill to force the save because at that point they already had run of the site so as much as it wasn't like the biggest 200 iq strat it's enough to get them on site it's enough to let them get the bomb down and one win realizing that they're only one round away from match point realizing that they're going to be forced down onto a save again in this round rather hold on to the little weaponry that you have available and that little weaponry you have available is massive compared to what you would have had otherwise Really good position, no for my glowing. <laughs> oh, that counter Molotov just reading them perfectly. That is what I'm talking about. Travis is only going to be on a USP, and now he's taking a little bit of damage. Two plays on pistols on the side of one win. No ultra aggressive plays from Saw. They realize that they're playing up against a uh, sort of a force buy from a lot of the team. So they're deciding how they're going to play. This is a slightly little bit different compared to last game. Just is not going to get another kill from the smoke flamey. He's got the headshot lines up. He finds, finds one. Looking for, for the second one. He might even be able to take it. They're not playing well enough, but he's going to get another kill. What is going on? You have to get the trade. Sardoro has, Sardoro has to pull out the P250. Gets two. It's now two versus a three. Two versus one as Deco is going to be the last one left alive. He's got an AWP. Can't really afford to lose this. And Sardoro is... Oh, faster through the night. The orb is now found. And Deco, unfortunately, he's going to be walking straight behind toward the player and just... <sighs> he gets the kill and that is an AWP loss and the economy is hurting on the side of one win. They can buy into this one, but honestly, I don't think they even want to go into a full buy. I mean, they, they do really, really well on this round considering that what little they had to work with at least. But it's nice to see Saw making a little bit of a resurgence. Yeah, better communication, uh, better reactions on what is being communicated across. Uh, so they're starting to look a little bit more clean and much needed right now. But this is going to be a big question mark, a big potential swing round. <sighs> Do one win buy into the Surely not. Maybe, yeah, maybe just like bonus or upgrade, rather, a little bit so that you can have some semblance of utility. 
What was that just a smoke and a grenade? Uh, not, not, okay, okay, they're getting a little bit more, but it's, it's not a hell of a lot. They want to make sure that they've got cash going into the next round, and saw at the very least looking pretty good economically. I mean, even if they lose this round, they should, they'll still be able to buy into the next. But if they lose this round, we're on match point, so it's really important that they can buy on the next. Yeah, and, oh, interesting boost here. Over towards ABC, they're trying to... This team are not very good at doing these boosts. They're, they're actually terrible at them, I'm not going to lie. That's the second time I've seen them fail, fail one of these. But, you know, they're trying to be hip. They're trying to be cool with these boosts, but not going to be working out. I, I will say, just so if everyone knows, one win have not won a map yet. This is the second map. Uh, this map pick was one wins. The first one was Nuke. Saw won that one out. It was 16-14, I want to say. No, 16-13, sorry. Uh, and that was a really fun map to watch. Going into, obviously, overpass. We're on the second half at the moment. One win over. Very close to being able to win this one out. It's not over yet, so just ignore that little blue line for now. <sighs> Making the situation a little bit more dire than it already is. Admin's adding a little bit of extra pressure onto one win. <laughs> a little bit of unnecessary pressure. We'll see how they do in this round, because as we mentioned, they don't have terribly much to work with yet. I mean, we know that the scout can get things done. They've posted up Deco. Pretty close to toilets in case anybody tries to push in through that way. But look at this push through long. Is anyone going to be waiting for this? This is too slow. They've taken a long time. But finally, Mewtwo's going to be able to open up. He finds two. Travis and Deco are going to hit the deck. And now they're going to have to do their best to try and uh, pull this back one back over. But unfortunately, it's not going to happen. Glowin's going to get taken down by the orb. Roman was supported by his teammates fantastically. This execution was on point. I want to see more of this saw. This is exactly what you should be doing on your T, -T side. But... You know what? That was a warm-up round. That was versus pistols and some armor. Mm -hmm. uh, now you're going to have to do it against a fully-fledged armored opponent. And that's what makes this so terrifying. Because, sure, you can you can get a lot of this done versus an eco. And, yes, we do know that sometimes they struggle against ecos. But, for all intents and purposes, you should be winning those rounds. And they play that quite nicely. They slow down the pace a little bit. They wait until they have that information early on. They get that first entry kill, which is super important. And that gives them the, the information that they need to say, all right, cool, we can push in now. Push in onto the site, get the bomb down. Easy peasy cleanup onto opponents that don't have weaponry that can confront you. Now, like you said... One win going to be able to buy into this. They're going to be a lot more poised, a lot better poised to take control. Be curious to see what they do with that. Yeah, I mean, our production are just massive trolls. Showing that as a highlight, <laughs> that like... was just hilarious. But okay, brilliant. Well, moving onwards, going into this round, we're going to be seeing Saw try to bring it back up to an equalizer. They have to get another three rounds on the board in a row to stop one win from at least taking it through overtime. But hey... If any team's going to do it, I think one ring could definitely bring this back. And just, <laughs> just is going to have to do a lot here. Maybe get another shot through the smoke. Get a little bit fortunate. He does have two nays, chucks them both through. That's actually quite a smart play. He's just trying to make it seem like there's actually two players over there. When in fact, it's actually just one of them. But unfortunately, they didn't really do anything else on that. So they've given some false information. But it's super easy to be able to rotate away from that position. So I don't think it really does too much. Okay, they're switching guns. One, like, Lowen wanted the <laughs> a different colored skin or something. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Over towards Long, though, we're going to be seeing an orc versus orc battle. Sadodo is looking to get taken down. Headshot from Deco. That's exactly what they want to be seeing. Now, trying to decide what they're going to be able to do. The, through the door, it's going to be just going to be able to get one kill. Flamey, going to get traded out. Arky, and the best he can to help out his teammates. He pushes down over towards B short. This leaves Travis. A little bit confused as to where and what is going on. Molotov's going out over towards barrels. Flash as well. There's going to be an entry. Maybe a change of pace. Travis is going to be there. He gets the kill. This should be the potential win changer. The round changer for them. Foster. He's in a good position. Holding them. Stopping them from being able to do anything much on this front. But from above. is going to be one player. Look to cause a little bit of chaos. Just going to peek around the squad and takes one. He doesn't expect the other player to be there. Deco gets the kill and the bomb. And now it's going to be one person to try and bring this back. Roman, but unfortunately, he doesn't account for Deco's smooth gameplay. That was just a snowball from the very first kill. Why is the Dodo dry peaks this? The ego peak to try to get that kill onto Deco, and unfortunately, it backfires massively. And at that point, okay, cool. Roman is able to go on a wild flanking mission all the way over towards the A site, but like... 
by the time he gets anywhere, his entire team has been slaughtered. So it actually amounts to nothing. These tiny misplays from Saw, their T side always so... Such a struggle, such an unnecessary struggle. Now we're on match point, and I said, you know, even if they lose that round, they're still able to buy in. They need what little, what, what weaponry they're going to have available here. They're going to go for the spray. Flame is going to be able to get one. Jumps over towards Shaw. He's going to get taken down, but trade from Foster. He's doing a fantastic job. Shuts down a Rogan, and now it's going to be a three versus three, three versus two. Mutual is going to do fantastic, but so is Travis. Takes down a short player, and now these players going to have to play fantastically. But Travis with the kill. Sadler is going to be the last one left alive. He's going to be struggling to try and piece this together. Unfortunately, Saw had it in the bag there, but it was only in the grasp for a couple of seconds. And now, I know he's giving away a lot of information here. He's going to have to just fall back. You can hear the footsteps coming up behind him. The shots as well. That was so close to him. We need uh, need to change his pants after that shot. <laughs> this is this is crazy. We're going to have to see uh, see the third map. I, I don't see it going any other direction, especially with Saw, with the way they play. But... Honestly, if I'm one win, I'd be scared. The fact that it's going to a third map and Saw are currently undefeated in this uh, in this bracket when it comes to winning as the threes <laughs> all the way through. I have to wait and see. But you know what? It's not over yet. I've not started singing. Sado no, has an opportunity. He has the bomb. He doesn't have the time. He's got 20 seconds and all the opposition have to do is to rush on site. He's going to plant to try and defend against them, I'd imagine. But what's he doing? You have 10 seconds. Going for the plant. Smoke. Smoke is going to go out. He's just trying to clean out those angles, I understand. Bomb is down, and now he's going to have to go in for the close quarters Ooh. angles. He misses the first shot. That's going to be detrimental, but he finds one. He's now going to play in a little bit different. This would have to be one hell of a clutch. 1v2 to 1v1. He's going to be spotting out oh, Travis. No, he misses the opportunity. He's going to be pushing up behind him. He can't account for this. He can't see him. What? He has one. He gets the flick. He gets the kill. What? Travis, you may be a fantastic player, but unfortunately, <laughs> losing that situation is not what you want. Fantastic round. Four to three ratio. <laughs> My brain hurts. Look at that! And he like he turns to look at him and then looks away. He does the double take. But it, it, unlike Roman, Sedodo manages to connect that so perfectly. I, I was I was done at that point. I was like, all right, cool, map three, here we come. Uh, Sedodo somehow manages to clutch that one out. Beautiful play. And one went back down onto a pistol. This is so doable. My, my heart rate is off the charts right now. It is booming. What the hell is going on? But Mutrius has to reflect ourselves. He's going to get a kill. Now he has to carry on pushing. He may well just be able to make this work for himself. He's heard the Deagle. Deco over towards toilets. Travis. Not too far behind. It's going to be a kill over towards Flamey. This should be 13th round on the board. <laughs> Are we really going to be seeing overtime on this front? <laughs> Definitely going to be possible. It's not over yet. I am stung, like I said, last round. You didn't bleep yourself. Oh, oh no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fly down. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so is Deco, though. Unfortunately, not going to hit those shots. Travis over towards Long. Going to be coming through toilets, looking for any kind of kills they can. They want to damage this economy. Gets the kill. Thought that was a headshot. It wasn't, so not as spicy, but still wins that 1v1 duel. Now, uh, they know where he is, so they know one half the equation. The question is, where is he going and where is Foster? Do they decide to go and hunt him down? Probably not. They, they flamed off the, uh, the toilet. Oh, they know where the other player is now. This is going to be a little bit of a dangerous situation. They're going to get pushed in from both sides. The pinster's going to be coming through. Travis finds one. Looking in for the second one, but he's going to have to do everything now in a 1v3. Got two kills. This would have to be an ace to close it out. The madman may well just be able to do exactly that. He's got an AK in hand. They're going to be peeking over towards him, but he can't do it. So much was riding on him. Getting some more kills, but unfortunately couldn't quite bring it through. And Star Dodo goes into this round with $8,900. I mean, this, this could very well be our last round, to be fair. You know, one win now able to buy in again. Not sure that they're going to be caught so off guard by a... Stadodo that plays so well through smokes for the second time because I mean it was really massive of him to be able to clutch that out but it's it's very it's, it's highly irregular so if we find ourselves in a similar status this should be one win coming away with it yeah I mean they, they shouldn't have lost the round before last but they did and that happens and now we focus on the future saw so, trying to do their best to be able to win through this but they are struggling on their T side again a situation that they're accustomed to. So now is the make or break it. 
kind of situation. They have to prove this not only to us, but also themselves that they have a bit of a stronger and they have the ability to be able to do something here. Okay, player spotted. This time, uh, even with the you know confidence play, that area is going to be able to walk away with his head. But Travis, his position has been well played and documented. If he gets away with these kills again, I I'm going to be massively disappointed in the opposition, but he could definitely do something here. Oh! To be able to take them down, Glowin is going to be losing his life, unfortunately for him. to be just down through. Connector, Travis peeks up. He catches them off guard. Come on. I should not be allowed it down in towards Connector. He's dropped. This could be it. This could be them bringing it through to the 14th round. And potentially over time, Deco peeks around the corner. He's going to have to back away. He catches that auto off guard. But now he's going to get back snapped by a play. He turns around. No scope doesn't work. But Foster finds Mutris. And now it's going to be a two versus two situation. They've got bomb control, but... I've not got a single sight control yet, and Foster. Maybe. Hey, okay, look, it's B. Unfortunately, the answer to that equation is he's going to peek around the corner, gets to kill this young player, Foster. Unfortunately, does fall to the wayside. Play me. Oh, the old guard here. Used to play, obviously, on Navi and many other teams as well. He's got a lot of experience under his belt. Fantastic player, but unfortunately, I just don't know if he's going to be able to bring this back. I think it's going to be an AWP save, and that's going to be him falling back. <sighs> well, at least he got to hold on to an op, so they'll have that into the next round. Proud of Saw, all things considered. Doing very well there. Again, you know, that, that kind of kerfuffle in that under area goes a little too back and forth, I think, for anyone's liking. But at least one win do well to try to make it expensive. Again, you know, with how flush Saw are at the moment, it's probably not going to make much of a difference uh, at the end of the day. But it's one win's economy that's going to come into question here. Yes, they got to hold on to the AWP. Yeah, okay, they've managed to buy into two M4s. But... Oh, they, they get another one. Alright, nice, 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 nice. So we got a little bit more firepower to back this up. But this I is their this match is... point. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I, th I think this is where they come in to shine. Uh, Deco is probably going to go off, and so is Travis. But we'll have to wait and see what they're going to be able to do in this. They've got a decent buy with all things considered, but it shouldn't have gotten to this point. Match point, we may well be seeing overtime, which is not a uh, strange occurrence when we're watching uh, Saw play. It's really their home grounds. I don't think... Yeah, no, I don't think we have actually seen them on over us over time. Did we? No. I don't no, think I don't, so. I, I think they've been shot so. out each time. No, yeah. And that's one of the biggest issues on seeing them on this map is that it's really not a map they're very good on. But they are trying to prove that back. Roman, though, he's going to fall down. Travis is going to be able to get that kill. Fantastic start for one win side. They know they have to close this down. If they don't, they'll be going down to the lower bracket. They'll be ever closer to the, uh, the hungry sharks, as it were. Blamey, good position as well. Just holding above this tunnel. Wants them to come over towards him. There's a limited amount of utility on both sides. Special on the CT side, but more so. You keep in mind, Saw have to go in for an execution on somewhere. Flamey, he was spotted. A simple grenade could take him out, but I don't think they've got it. The short play isn't going to be held off. But he's just going to be able to get the trade off. But Flamey over towards Arky. He's going to be able to get it. And now it has to be down to one player. That Dodo is going to be able to pick it up. He can't do a second clutch. We go into third map. Oh, man, that came so close there. So it took them a while on their T uh, side to finally start clawing their way back into it. But it's the same argument we had on you. If, if one win had been able to scrape a few both of the halves, and that's why it's...